guys, welcome to my first trial drum lesson. Um... been playing drums for over 20 years and a lot of what I've done in my past is teaching the basics of drumming um, from A to Z and because today is my trial and error lesson I'm gonna go over something so simple which is technique how to hold the drumsticks a lot of people grab the drumsticks at the end but you actually it's not quite at the end to get the best spot. Um, what I do, every drumstick is different, but I do what's called a bounce test. So this helps you find the right space to hold the stick. So if you grab the stick at the very end, the very tip, and just let it fall into a practice pad, you notice it doesn't bounce very much. So you scoot up another inch, bounces a little bit more, but not tons. So keep going, starting to get into the sweet spot where you bounce it and the stick wants to keep bouncing. With the Vic Firth sticks, it's usually near that little Vic Firth flag. It's a good mark if you have Vic Firth sticks. So, so since this is a Vic Firth stick, uh, my thumb is gonna be placed on that little flag most of the time, but each stick is different, so it feels pretty good. So the main grip is your thumb the pad of your thumb and then your pointer finger wrapping around and that creates the fulcrum of your grip which I think I, you know your thumb and your pointer finger are like a team and then the rest of your fingers here drape across uh, the back of the stick enabling the stick to go back this way so when you have your new grip I often do this use your fingers to pull the stick feel what that feels like and um, yeah, so anyway, um, we want to make a kind of the shape of a triangle from the end of our elbows all the way to the stick. You don't want this going on. This is too far. You, you want your uh, wrist to be in a natural state and then kind of have a line from the end of the tip of the stick to the tip of your elbow. So you kind of got this slight triangle thing going on. And um, we're going to do eight on a hand, which is exactly what it sounds like. Eight strikes, eight strokes with the right strokes with the left. And that is the best way to practice to get started. Um, you want to use bend your wrist first, then your, you will, your fingers allow the stick to come up, your fingers pull the stick down, the weight of, and gravity do the work for you. Try to let the stick bounce. Okay, have some fun with that, but again practice eight on a hand. Eight with the right, eight with the left. Okay, and um, once you've got eight, uh, some eight on hands under your belt, you can, if you have a drum set to play on, play going, um, go around the toms, and every time you move, your grip adjusts, but you still have the technique that we talked about, the triangle. So if I'm going to do four strokes on each drum, I'm going to go snare, tom, middle tom, floor tom, and watch how my body moves, and uh, my technique stays proper. So. technique and that's going to wrap up my very first lesson thanks guys see you soon